Okay, now I have a, a video of this mold before where I dumped a little bit of water in to help it cool because it tends to leak out through there, but don't dump your water. And you can see we ran one wire with a loop in it and then another wire just going back through both sides. And then, of course, this gets held together with the pliers as well. That's good. Just go ahead. That's good, I think. Come out a little bit, but it cools pretty fast. And that was a fancy mold I welded up, and it works great. It really does. It's a little bit harder to get that off because you have two wires going through one plate. I always like a touch of water just to cool them down, plus it looks cool on camera. Just a touch of water. Now you should be able to grab that side <coughs> with pliers and just pull it up and off. On this side, you got to hold down on the bottom too. Should be able to wiggle that when I get it up and off. Now hold on to it and no, don't put it down like that. I'm trying try to smack it off of there. Pull up, don't bend. But anyway, there's several different ways of making your weights. You can go fancy like a mold like this and fight with it. Or you can go with a paper tube. And that paper tube, I'm half a mind to make another one. If I went in that big hole, I bet that paper tube would slide right off the top after it cooled. So. so there's four different kinds of weights right there. I melted the toilet paper one down to make this one because I prefer to have a couple big ones like that. But you all get the idea. All different size weights. These are two I made and left the copper on. Those are over a pound. Appreciate y'all watching. Go make you some weights.